Hey there everybody, Thet here, and welcome to Thet Plays Eco, an open world survival game by Strange Loop Games that is trying to bring something new to the open world survival table by, one, bringing you windmills, I don't think that, that may not be actually new, but it might be, but also by making you think of the environment as you create your little niche of civilization or larger niche of civilization if you're playing it online multiplayer but i won't be at least not in this series sorry to crush your hopes and dreams there but we're gonna go ahead and play solo i got a whole new world here i'm gonna continue it in just a little bit it's a fantastic point of view you'll see um but the point of this game is that there's a meteor somewhere up here in the space area that's gonna come down over here in your world and it kind of it's, it's a terrible neighbor. It just comes in and just wrecks the place. So we got to stop the meteor before he comes in and decides to make himself a whole new home. And we got to try to do that without destroying the entire environment around us. Let's go ahead and get into our whole new world. And we can get, start to get to look at what that's going to be like. Now this, this playthrough is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to do every single thing on camera like I usually do. Like, sometimes I might start building something, and then I'll say I'll just finish it later. And then once I finish it, we'll take a tour through the new building or whatever we've, whatever project we've made. But I'm not going to sit here for, like, five-minute projects and just do that project unless it is necessary to fill out the prerequisite video time. Hello, Butterfly. How you doing? Man, every time I jump into this game, I'm tempted to just chase these butterflies around. I am a terribly easy-to-distract person. So here we are in this new land. Got a beach over there. We got the, well, there's the meteor. It's actually going to the other side of the planet right now, taking a nice tour. It's pretty great. So we're starting on some beachfront property. It's pretty great. We might go ahead and just make this beachfront front property ours. I'm not sure yet. We got some snow caps over here in the distance. I got my workbench here. We got to decide where we're going to set that up. Got our tools over here. Gonna need to collect some wood. It'll be pretty great. We got a shovel. It's pretty great. And we got our hammer with which we can make new things. And by new things, I mean buildings. But first, let's take a quick tour of our planet. I've disabled all the, the tutorial stuff because I don't feel like I'm gonna necessarily want it. But as you can see, there's here's our forest over here. We started in a place with very little trees. But there's a, there's a forest in that direction. So if we wanted to build like where I am right now, I could go ahead and just bring stuff over. Literally bring stuff over. Well, let's take a look here. We'll do a little bit of a survey. We got some flowers here, but we can't... Well, can I dig these up? No. I probably need a scythe to get those. So, different plants have different requirements before you can grab them. Therefore, I cannot grab that yet, you see. I'm just digging my way. Digging me up some little stairs here to go up. It's the best way to be lazy is by not being lazy and actually making stuff. So, here's a, here's a tree. I don't know if you noticed this. It's pretty great. I can chop it down. I'm wondering if I can get to the actual parts of the tree where I can get a seed, but I don't think I can. With a lot of these trees, if you chop at their at their leaves, you can get a seed out of it, but I don't know if I can out of this one. It's not looking like it. Hmm. Either way, I'm going to need some wood, so I think you're going to have to come down here, buddy. You know, before I do that, before I do that, because right now I'm not as efficient as I can be. I started with 14 skill points, as you can see down here. I'm going to turn some of those into some things. But first, right now all I know how to do is basically not die. That's see survivalist self-improvement. can learn some other things, though. Basic crafting. Some strong back so I can carry more stuff. Sure. Let's go ahead and learn that. Learn how to be stronger on our back. Let's learn how to get a big stomach so we can he eat more food at once. That's more realistic to me. And then we'll get a calorie efficiency so that we burn our food more effectively here. Now, let's learn logging so that I can log with more efficiency. It takes up less calories. It's pretty great. 
then logging damage will let my let my axe, which is currently stone, hit a little harder. Take less wax to take down a tree. It's also pretty great. And then we're going to learn hewing so that we, we can get a little bit more efficient at creating our hewn logs, which is going to be our first building material. I'm just going to invest way too many points into this. Hope that's all right. Okay. Now let's cut down this tree. And we'll do it with great prejudice. As you can see, this is how you greatly prejudice cutting down a tree. He's actually done it. And then you get a bunch of wood pulp, which is pretty great. It's not actually that useful. But you do have to take down the wood pulp, because if you don't, and you don't take it down the stump, you can guarantee that nothing's going to be able to grow back here. And you want stuff to be able to grow back here. For obvious reasons. You need wood later. Not going to be content with just a little bit of wood in your life. I, dude, these branches need to go. Please, do me this favor. There you go. Now I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Some more wood pulp, too. All right. Let me just chop this sucker up into easy-to-handle pieces. It's beautiful. Perfect. Possibly professional. Okay. And there you go. We got some wood. So what do we do with our wood? Well, we're going to go ahead and just stack it somewhere for right this second. Because I'm going to need to put down my workbench next. I can hold all of this wood. It's actually unbelievable. That's physics for you. Okay. So. We got some wood. Where do we want to put this wood, ultimately? First of all, see if I can undef... See if I can change these physics to make them a li bit, little bit more sense-making here. Please, do me this favor. There you go. That makes sense. On some planet, I'm sure. Cool. So do I want the beachfront property? I kind of do. One, because it's beachfront property. Also, because I haven't done any really real fishing yet in this game. And I think this would be a good opportunity to try doing some fishing. So, we'll move that down here to build with. And where do I want to actually carve out my first little house, my little building? Oh, there's stone here, too. This is actually great. So you didn't know this, but we actually created, like, the best world. I don't know if we did or not, but I'm going to say we did. I'm just going to plop this dirt down here. I hope you don't mind. Oh, I'm too hungry to work. Excuse me for a minute. I've actually burned up all my calories, which means I have to go find food. Right now, I can't harvest this stuff. But never fear. This planet is full of food. As they tend to be when they can support life. Somewhere. It's full of food. I'm thinking we gotta head toward the forest area. I assume there would be food that way. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. And I will be wrong again. In fact, I make a history of being wrong. As you can see. Dude. This is gonna be a really nice area for stone. I might have to go for masonry right away. I could take... I'm thinking of taking down that whole dirt pyramid right there too. Or whatever you wanna call that. Turn that into a nice little workshop. Carve out my niche of the world right there. We'll be eating fish. And, ah! We'll be eating fish and... Making stuff out of stone for days. It'll be great. Dude, these pink freaking plants. I can't use them. How does, how does the water go here so that it flows in both directions? Where does the water come from? I'm very confused. I guess it's okay, though. Oh, that, that's where it comes from. Okay. That's a lot deeper than it looked. Oh, jeez. We took a dip. That's okay. We'll be fine. Oh, no, we won't be fine. This is a big old river of nothing. There's got to be a way up somewhere. Please. Save me. What is this? A little freaking natural cave. It's actually pretty great. Okay, there's there's our way. There was an underground area. Oh, my God. Okay. There's food somewhere around here. I can smell it. I can't really smell it. I don't have smell vision Please don't insult me. But I know there's got to be something. I can't eat the bird. 
I know you're probably screaming at your monitor right now. Eat the bird. I can't eat the bird. Let's see. What is with survival games in the search for food? It's like you got to survive or something. All right. I don't know what these things are exactly, but oh my God, if we get to the point where we can harvest them, we will have food for actual years. Because holy cow. Oh, I made it. Okay, float. Float, you beautiful bastard. Okay. Like, these little things are everywhere. You know, the worst part is I'm going to have to find my way back afterwards. That's okay. We could do it. I don't leave footprints. Escape's realism just took a zero. I can't take myself seriously in this game anymore. I might not actually exist anyway, because as you can see, I am merely a hammer. Or a shovel. There's an allegory in there, or some kind of story. And that, that, that life lesson is that men are only equivalent to their tools. So you have to be careful when you're picking your tool in life. Are you a hammer? Are you a shovel? Are you perhaps a pick? I don't know. Also, I have this this iron hammer. And, er, yes, this is a hammer. Good job with that. I have this iron axe now. It's better than the stone axe, but the stone axe can be upgraded. Or at least my skill in using the stone axe can be upgraded. Dude, there's a lot of snow. Okay. Let's stop being all useless here. Let's use our map. Where can we get beets? We can get beets down here. Okay, where can we get corn? Corn's down there. Okay, we're going the wrong way for most of our stuff here. This looks relatively close. Let's drop a marker here. Boop. And we're going to just call it corn. And then the game will automatically say, oh, there's corn there. You want corn? You come here. And then we'll go there and we'll get corn. It's pretty great. All right, more stone. Can I make this jump? Probably not. Oop. I was right. Oh, I was right. We could not make that jump. Why am I going down? What the heck? Am I getting heavier as I'm starving? That doesn't make sense. Okay, the water physics is a little funky in this game, but that's okay. That's not the point. It's not the... Oh my god, this is a lot of stone. Dude. I used to think stone was rare. Not really, but it's because I never really dug for stone. Every other playthrough I've done so far, it's been just wood everywhere. All I got was wood. So, today I'm going to get stoned instead. There's some corn. Oh my god, beautiful sustenance. We've actually done it. Gimme. Alright. And there's wheat here too, but we don't have anything to harvest that. So instead, we're just going to harvest some corn. Don't worry, we'll cook it later. I mean, we're going to eat some raw, because that's what you do, but... Later we'll cook some corn. I'll leave this little corn to grow. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. All right. 34 corn should be enough for anyone. Let's go ahead and eat four of them. Yeah, we'll get one more corn. Okay. There you go. Oh, there's tomatoes. We've done it. This can be dug up. It's a camas bulb. Or camas. Or camas. Or, God, there's a lot of... Okay, there's a lot of stuff. That's what I'm getting at there. And I want these tomatoes. You will give them to me. Please. Can I dig underwater? I can. It's good to know. Yeah, baby. No, I don't want to dig the tomato. I want I want to eat the tomatoes. You don't understand. I dug the tomatoes. But I got them. I, what the? Are you floating now? Excuse me? Okay, you, those, those don't want to get dug up. That's okay. Who am I to tell them they're wrong? And those are beets. Now I'm just... Now I'm flooded with... There was no beets in there. Now I'm flooded with food. Not really. But I got enough to survive for a while. Now I can head back to my little area, which should be just this way. As you can see. Okay. And we can also plant some corn, too, if we want. We got some corn seeds. But we need to actually get an implement. A hoe if you will, to go ahead and do that. So that's going to take some time and happen later. It's nighttime, if you, as you can see. Games looks great. I just got to say, it looks pretty good. I like how it looks. There's our wood. Okay, we've done it. 
We've ah, geez, the Great River. Uh, I don't like the Great River. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna need to take some wood and build a bridge over this Great River. I think that'll make it uh, a little bit greater for me. Oh, buddy, let's go. Okay. Yeah, probably end up getting a bridge built there. Anyway, let's head back down here and figure out our building space, where our first little building is going to go. And I was thinking, get rid of this here. It's a fun detour, by the way. There we go. <laughs> and then we kind of end up carving out this area. We can do some terraforming here. Take out some of these, uh, some of these that we're not gonna use. Just fill out the ocean a little bit. It'll be great. Okay. So if and we're gonna do that, we're gonna need a workshop. Why we need a workshop? Because we need a place to work. Duh. And also because we need a place to build stuff. So we're just gonna place it right here for now. It's a very. I got it kind of backwards. I think. It's a very beginning spot for it. There you go. So now we're going to carry the logs here, make some hewn logs. It'll be pretty great. Just a starting building material. You'll see. All right, this, first of all, physics, what are you doing? Second of all, I want to be able to go up, please. So you're going to do me this favor. You're going to become what we need. There we go. Don't try to navigate the planet. You let the planet navigate you, son. All right? Remember that. Keep, no, don't cut them. Just put them in my inventory. What are you actually doing, you two logs? Insulting me here with your freaking floating in the air. All right. Let's get to building. How you doing? First things first, I'm building a stockpile out of five of these. And the rest of these can become hewn logs for now. Actually, is that the best thing to start with? Stockpile is definitely great to start with. I don't need arrows. I can't build them yet anyway. I'm going to need some stone before I can get a campfire, which means I really do need that stockpile. Carpentry table, I'm going to want that soon as well. So yeah, I guess for now, the rest of these will become hewn logs. Okay. So I'm starting with the stockpile. And there's a very good reason I'm starting with the stockpile. And that is that the stockpile is what's going to allow us to put all of our stuff in one location and then link it to various workshops. And that linking feature is probably my favorite thing in the game right now. <laughs> like, the ability to have all your stuff linked in one spot without having to carry it all, like I did those logs, I carried them over to here. That's awesome and beautiful and lovely and wonderful. All right, stockpile is complete. Let's go ahead and grab it. And then place it. So I kind of want to put it like right here, but at the same time, it doesn't really do much for me there. So maybe I can just put it up here. Oh, there's a lot more building space if I go up here. I think I might like that more, although I could just carve out a spot for it right here as well. Oh, there's so many options here. You know what? You know what? I think I'm just going to put it up here, like right here. Obviously, I can't place it here yet because I need some more solid ground. But we can make solid ground. Solid ground. That's my nickname is Solid Ground Thet. You know this. I know this. We all know this. We all know a lot of things, though. We're smart lads. Here we go. Come here, you stinking dirt. I hope you don't stink because I'm putting my stockpile on top of you. I don't want a stinky stockpile. Do me this favor. Don't stink. All right, let's actually go. There you go, stockpile. Here it is, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, it's perfect, it could even be professional. Now we're gonna go to this workbench, we're gonna say storage, link the stockpile, boom, it automatically put all the hewn logs in there. Real life is happening. Folks, don't get it twisted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these logs and throw them in the stockpile as well. And also break physics some more, because that's what we do around here. 
Don't get it twisted. How you doing, Mr. Meteor? I'm going to get take care of you in like 29 days. You get 30 days. I believe it's 30 real life days. And by real life days, I mean when the server itself, yes, even single player games are put on a server, is open for 30 days and you haven't destroyed the meteor, you're going to have a bad time. Anyway, I love this. Oh, this is just the, the most beautiful place to mine. Uh, just drop you right here, I guess. Yeah, buddy. Mm, get us a stone. Oh, yeah. We're going to get so stoned up. It's going to be great. So I'm thinking, like I said, I'm probably going to try to head straight to masonry here. See what I can do to make that happen. Make my first actual house a stone house. It'll be so great. Be beautiful. Be perfect. Could even be professional, but let's not get it twisted yet. We've just started. And my, things might actually be horrible. I might be doing everything completely wrong. You don't know this, though. See, I don't even know this. So am I doing everything wrong? Who knows? All I know is I'm getting some mining done. Look at that. I got stone. Yes, I do. I got stone. How about you? Please do me this favor and get into my carrying slot. Speaking of which, as you can probably see in the bottom, we got our quick bar, which is some of our inventory. We got a backpack as well, which I don't have open. There's my backpack. See, it's pretty great. Got some seeds in there. Got some, some stakes in here, which allow you to claim some property. It's more relevant in multiplayer, but it is relevant here as well. And you got some Too Hungry to Work. It's pretty darn great. Please eat two corn. There we go. You have a very corny diet. hope you don't mind. Okay. So we got plenty of stone for right now. What am I going to do with that plenty of stone? Well, don't get it twisted, but I'm going to make myself a masonry table. It's probably going to need to be put into a room. So we're going to make some more hewn logs. We're probably going to get some more trees knocked down as well. But for now, we got 15 hewn logs. If I do that, if I equip my hammer, I can put these logs down. And I can create some kind of work so workshop, I should say, if I were going to use words. I'm, I'm going to use words. Hope you don't mind. But let's say I wanted to make this workshop. Let's say I want to put it right here, or right, even right here, or even right here. And I wanted to... I kind of want to put it right here, though. Okay. Let's let's not worry about that yet. Let's just make a simple wooden workshop that we can put our stuff in. You know what? This is, this is the part where the game... Either I'm going to drive someone else crazy or someone's going to drive me crazy. Okay. Now let's grab that stuff. All I have to do is hit it with my... Uh, hit it with my hammer. It's pretty great. So I'm going to build a starting workshop down here so it's gonna be it ain't gonna be that big but it's gonna be a decent size as you can see i'm laying the foundation now because foundation is the first step to greatness you got to start somewhere and you started the foundation son all right more hewn logs do me this favor cool cool coolly cool there's our foundation. As you can see, right now it's a very tiny building. But it's going to be just the right size for us. We're going to get some more, more wood. And honestly, those are the closest trees. So we're going to head that way. Okay. Let's actually go. I'm sorry, tree. But I need you to do me this favor. And stop existing for a while. And by a while, I mean permanently. But don't worry. You gotta take care of your stump here, too, so that more trees can grow back. Remember, that's the environmentally friendly thing to do. That and Now I'm just hitting nothing. Okay. Bam. I, I see the pulp. Wham. And I need to eat more food. All right. Let's eat some, let's eat some bulbs here. There you go. Oh, that's not very many calories, is it? There you go. Five corn. That'll do it for you, though. Nothing says I'm full like five corn. I actually lowered my skill points per day. Why did that happen? You might be wondering. Or you might not. I don't know. I can't read your mind. You don't tell me anything. But what is this? What's this cap? 
Oh, okay. Cap's gone. The calories per day is dependent on your diet. So the more balanced your diet is in terms of fats, calorie, calories, calories are the basic food measurements, or energy measurements that as far as fats, proteins, vitamins, and there's one more that I can't remember off the top of my head. Carbs. That's the other one. <laughs> Get all those balanced. The more balanced they are, the better your diet is considered. And the more skill points you get per day. Because you get skill points automatically for doing nothing. Because this game is it rewards doing nothing, as you can see. What? Okay. More logs. Let's get all those logs moved in. And then we can continue building our little workshop. I am probably going to make the workshop a little bit bigger than the foundation I have right now. Because I think the masonry table is going to need more space. Every, wor every workbench that you make requires a certain amount of space except for the starting workbench because you got to start somewhere <laughs> but every other workbench requires a certain amount of space to itself inside of a building there are a couple that don't actually i don't think about it the repair workbench doesn't which we're probably going to need soon at the rate we're going that's okay don't worry about it right now yeah that's all the logs cool we've done it we have successfully killed and grokked another tree into the essence that is our the lounge. This is a lounge, as you can see. It's very relaxing. Let's go. This game is very relaxing. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's actually beautiful. Sit here on my little deck that I've made. Watch the sunrise. Burn my retinas out, as is tradition. All right. Masonry table's done. It's great. So let's hew some more logs. Yeah, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Let's go ahead and hew us, like, 30 more. It's going to take four minutes. That's insane. So now we can place this and we can see exactly what it would take to enclose this thing completely. So let's go ahead and do me this favor. So if I want to use it, it has to be in a room. And it uses 25 meters, cubic meters, for the record. Right now we have millions of cubic meters because we're outside. But that's not... So that, I'm sorry, did you like my did you like my stone? Did you want to become friends with my stone? Just coming up here staring at my stone, man. Okay. So let's build. We're gonna just change this over to actual Yeah. Actual walls here for a minute. We're just gonna build around this. Okay. So as you can see, that's where our actual factual little masonry area is going to go. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just going to move this over. That way I can turn that into an actual, like, room-type area. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. In fact, I might continue just digging out this way to keep making it bigger because I'm a fooly fool. And <laughs> I like to make big rooms because I'm a big guy, you see. Yeah. We'll extend it out to there. Make it a bit bigger. Put a little door in here somewhere. Probably move this right here. And then put a door here. So that I can walk out into my other workshop. It'll be great. You'll love it. You'll see. And then we'll finish to getting the hewn logs done. And then I can actually look at making my stone house. I want to make that up here. Oh, it's going to be lovely. Look at all that stone. Oh, some of it has actual minerals in it that we can use to make better things. Oh, it's going to be great. Let's actually learn how to do other things here, though. Hunting. If we learn how to hunt, we can learn how to fish. If we learn how to fish, we can learn how to love. Hunting. So, right now, learning all the stuff for the first time costs zero points. Like, campfire, learning the basics of that costs nothing. We got a free bow and arrow, by the way, because we learned how to hunt. But I want to learn how to fish. Fishing pole recipe. You make the fishing pole with five logs. And where do you make it? At a fishery. Well, <laughs> that just makes sense. And it also requires a room. So we're going to need a fishery room. Okay, cool. Good to know. Just going to learn a little bit about fishing in general. And we should get a little bit better at these log making as well. So I just sped up the rate at which we learn how to make logs. I'll probably make another wooden workshop or maybe even the same wooden workshop if I make it big enough. For the fishery as well. 
And I'm hoping by the end of the next episode, we'll be able to do some fishing. Or at least some cooking. <laughs> I should make a campfire, too. Because cooked food is usually better than non-cooked food. I don't know if you knew this. I don't know if this is something you've learned, but I found it to be the case. Anyway. A little haphazard of a start, as is normal. But I like this game. I like the fact that there's no outright antagonist in this game. But there's still a conflict, because you got to take care of the meteor. You're just floating. You, you are a magic bird, and I love you. But there is a conflict between you and a giant rock in space, as is no all normal conflicts, without being a primary antagonist. I'm sure in multiplayer there are some people who are jerks and they become antagonists, and not by design, but because they're jerks. I like the birds. But in single player, it's a nice relaxing experience. That still gives you a sense of urgency because you got something you got to do, you know? It's pretty great. Eventually, I can make some mortared stone and some masonry pitch, which I can make out of sand. And I believe, yeah, you can grind sand sto grind stone to sand eventually. So you can make all this stuff just out of stone. Or you can make pitch out of other things as well, like pulp. Another use for our wood pulp, if we decide to use it that way. Anyway. That is going to be it for this first episode of Eco. Hey, if you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more videos because they're going to keep coming. They probably won't stop coming. Anyway. I got to stop saying anyway, Thet. Anyway. That is going to be it for this episode of Thet Plays Eco. I'm going to finish this foundation here and probably even finish up some of the walls. And then you'll see the results of that in the next video. Thank you again for watching. And I'll see you next time. Beautiful. Actually beautiful. <laughs>